What's going on YouTube? This is Jim and today I want to give you guys my impressions on Overwatch. Now, if you are a regular to my channel, you know that I gushed for about 30 minutes or so during the Overwatch unboxing I did with my wife ago and my excitement for the game has waned very little since then. But there are some criticisms I do want to talk about. So going back a little bit before we get into all that, I remember watching BlizzCon 2014. I had the virtual ticket and Chris Metzen came up on stage and announced Overwatch. And I remember him getting choked up and he said this was the first new IP that Blizzard had released in like 20 years or 17 years or something. And we all watched the trailer in awe and it was just that opening scene of uh, the opening trailer, rather, with Winston and Tracer fighting against random villains. I think Reaper may have been there. I think uh, Widowmaker may have been there uh, in this museum. And you just were introduced to the world for the first time. And I think for me, I can't speak for everyone else, but it really captured my imagination. I was fortunate enough to get into the alpha and I played through all that into the beta. Now I own the, the uh, release of the game. Um, like everybody else, and I love it. I love it, and I've watched the progression of this game for a while, and I'm happy where the product is now, but there are some things that I'm really not happy about, so before I gush about how great it is, let me tell you some of the things I don't like about it. First and foremost, I feel like they did a huge disservice by leveraging so much of whatever Project Titan's assets were into this game without giving them proper backstory, without giving it proper lore. Um, this game is very clearly vibrant in a very lore perspective. I'm not talking about graphics. I'm not talking about anything like that. It's just clear that each character is dripping dripping with personality and the maps have personality to them and the the songs that play for the different backgrounds of all the the levels have just really tell a story it really does and it's amazing how blizzard has this uncanny ability to really just sell great characters i mean you look at some of their notable franchises i mean you'd think of guys like jim rayner and thrall and Tyrael. i mean these are guys that are just like wow like these are larger than life characters now we've been playing with them for some time but it's funny that overwatch just launching already puts a lot of those characters in perspective and you already are starting to really, really associate with certain characters and you want to know more about them. And there are some characters that do have small vignettes online, like Soldier 76 had one about a week ago or so. Um, I know uh, Tracers had one, Widowmakers had one, Reapers had one, the Hanzo, uh, Hanzo and his brother Genji have had one. It makes you associate with these characters a lot more. And I like that. But there's just something missing. I mean, yes, there is no single player element. There is no story proper about it. But you seem like you have to hunt and peck for everything. And you know what that reminds me of? Destiny's Grimoire card system. And everybody hated it. I didn't like it. And I don't like what Overwatch did with their characters now. I feel like between the art book and the website and little videos I find online, I have to kind of piece together what this whole world is about. And I think that it would be an even more amazing game if that was just given to you. This isn't a Dark Souls game where part of the fun is going off and figuring out what the hell happened. This is an established, vibrant world. There's no mysteries to uncover other than figuring out why Blizzard has been so protective of telling us things about it, why there was no single player experience, why there is no in-game lore a la Battleborn, why there aren't more vignettes online, why do I have to go read comic books to understand about Traborn? why do I got to read comic books to understand about this character or this motive? I don't understand it. And when that translates into gameplay, you have to ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? Yes, it is a fun shooter. There's a lot of great things about it I'll talk about in a minute, but Okay, let's assemble the team. Let's prepare our watch. We're Overwatch. I'm a huge Reaper fan, and I'm standing next to Winston, who's my immortal enemy. Okay, I could, I understand that, you know, you matchmaking, whatever, that's fine. It's not always going to be good versus evil. And I think that other than Reaper and Widowmaker, no one else is evil anyway. But despi despise all that. And we're going to do what? We're going to assemble Overwatch to push a cart down Route 66. That doesn't seem very heroic, does it? We're going to go to Voskaya Industries and we're going to push a cart into, or we're going to go collect two uh, capture points with all these giant mechs being built around us. What are the purpose of the mechs? I don't know. Let's go get control point B. Okay. <laughs> and I think that's where the game starts to fall apart a little bit. Um, 
I don't feel that epicness. I don't feel that gusto after watching the shorts online, after reading the stuff online that I can get my hands into or any of that. I don't feel that bravado when I jump into the game and it's like, what am I doing? Like, it doesn't feel very epic. And I feel like that's where a major disconnect is. Yes, it is a team-based game, so you're only going to get a few handful of modes. There is not a player versus player, first to 50 kills or whatever type mode. And I understand why, because heroes are distinctly balanced to be support characters or offensive characters or tank-like characters that would not do well in a one versus one setting. I don't care how good you are. You will never beat me as Reaper when you're Mercy. It's just not going to happen one-on-one. Okay, so I understand that perspective of it. But um, I feel like there's just something lost there. And, And I think that the amazing commercial success that this game is already having, the hype that it's getting around my community of friends, and from what I can see on the internet as a whole, the fact that it's starting to over knock over League of Legends on Twitch as the number one stream, tells you this game is the real deal. And it's something very different and refreshing about that whole team-based experience where you have very distinct hero shooter, hero class types that all have their unique weapons and skill sets that really work together in a team setting that you don't get in a Call of Duty, you don't get in a Destiny, you don't get in a Halo. But And I do like that. I think there's a place for that. And I think, obviously, people enjoy it. That's why it's doing so well. But I can't help but think that the story being injected into the game would make the game even better. I feel like that really is missing. Um, Gameplay is amazing. As I mentioned, all the different heroes are amazing. I'm a huge Reaper guy. I'm a huge Pharaoh guy. Um, There are some other great heroes out there. There's some I just absolutely stink, but that's the great thing. There's 21 distinct heroes, 21 distinct hero abilities, 21 distinct weapons and uses in the battlefield. So there's plenty for everybody to select from. Sometimes you got to pick based situationally on what's happening in your game. Sometimes you say, I don't care. I'm playing Reaper because damn it, he's cool and I like the guy. Um, That is cool as well. And there's plenty of that to go around. Uh, Customization is lacking a little bit in the weapon front, but you do get a lot of weapon skins, different poses, different taunts, different sprays. If you're fortunate enough to get play of the game, there's a big splash screen at the end. You can customize your logo with that and show off kind of a cool looking uh, pose or whatever for the play of the game to kind of get everybody like all hyped up to see what this amazing play of the game is going to be. I like that. That's cool. Um, I would like more weapon customizations. Now, I understand the weapons are balanced, so you're not going to change the damage or anything, but it'd be cool to look at something different. Um, Some weapons, some skins do have built-in weapon customizations, but I feel maybe that's where the game's lacking a little bit, but it's still in its infancy, so we'll have to see what Blizzard comes out with next. And they've done the wise thing right now, and I hope this remains, of limiting microtransactions solely to vanity items. So buying more loot boxes to... Uh, get different skins or whatever using real money, so what? Um, it doesn't matter if your Reaper is white or black or the Mariachi Reaper. Reaper is Reaper. So it doesn't matter to me too much. So uh, I don't mind the microtransaction. I know some people were offended by that. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, but again, other than my major complaint of I feel like the lore is missing, I think this game is really solid and it really is a lot of fun. There is something cool about getting together with a few people and working as a team and playing in a really, really support-based role that does, uh, you know, not a support-based role, playing in a very unique role that's going to support the team. So sometimes I'll play a lot of Mercy, and I'll just go around and heal people, or Lucio if we need to get somewhere quickly, switch it up and do Bastion if you want to do some heavy siege damage, and Working together with everybody is a lot of fun, and I feel like I haven't really played a first-person shooter before, that really draws on that kind of concept. And I think Blizzard is really taking charge with that. You look at like Heroes of the Storm and how all the classes complement each other. Now you're looking at an Overwatch type where again, the compliments uh, help out each other as well. And I think that is what makes it really stand out from everything else. That and the just overall uh, experience of the game. And I do enjoy it a lot. So if you haven't had a chance to check out Overwatch, I highly encourage you to do so. I think people who are looking for a deep story and deep lore are going to be extremely disappointed. And I am one of those people. But the gameplay does trump all that. For now, it can grow tired at times, maybe. And maybe later on we'll just say, oh, I'm so done with this game. But... There needs to be more 
story injection, I think, to keep people around longer. I hope they continue more of the vignettes online. Um, a single player mode would be very, very welcome. Um, and it's just more in depth kind of why we're doing what we're doing. Other than just enjoying right now and it's something fun and new and exciting. Yeah, that's cool. But after a while, I think that's going to wear off. Um, and it's funny because you, it came out right around the time that Battleborn came out. And Battleborn didn't do nearly as well. It's actually half off right now. Um, yet Battleborn did everything that Overwatch didn't do, which is very odd to me. It has their single player campaign. It has uh, story elements built into the game and lore injected into the game to understand who is doing what they're doing and why. Maybe it's just that Blizzard touch. I don't know. But I, I don't really care as much with... Uh, some of the Battleborn characters as I do with the Overwatch characters. And the art styles are both incredible. The games both are incredible. They both have fun modes to them. They're both kind of quirky humor, offset humor. Um, but it's just that Blizzard magic. I don't know. They did it once again. They've hooked me. I obviously on the Collector's Edition. I'm very excited for it. I'm going to actually, as soon as I'm done with my video, I'm going to hang up my really cool Overwatch vanity plate that I got in the unboxing I did uh, about a week ago. I'm going to put it over there in the corner because I know you care. Anyways, I've rambled enough about Overwatch. I just wanted to say it's a great game. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I highly recommend you do so. I am always on Battle.net, always looking for new friends. You can hit me up at Jimmy Pound 1220 You can find me on Battle.net, and I will gladly throw down with you. Um, and I just always meet new people online. So thanks for everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thanks to everybody I've met online. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.